So I suppose we're just saying the team is kind of in, in good in, in a good mood after Tuesday night and confident. Yeah, like you said, you know, we, it was a it was a hard fought win. Um, and the, the boys are happy, you know, they're not getting carried away with it. Obviously, we know we've got a massive game on, on Friday, but it was, it's nice to win matches. It's nice to win um, games with the last kick of the game. And, and we, we move on now to that game's gone now. We move on now to Sligo and another tough game. Is it a monkey off your back that you've got a goal? Um, I wouldn't say that. I mean, there's still people would say it's, it's not a goal in 90 minutes or whatever. So it's, it's a win. That's all we're worried about and that's all that cares. And, and we just move on to the next one now and, and worry about um, and worry about how we're going to try and beat um, Sligo. Sligo is a, is a huge game for you really in terms of the, their team who are in a similar position to you down that end of the table. And I mean, since lockdown, they've, they've done all right since they came back. They had a good win against Derry in the first game back. They beat Shelburne last week. So they've come back all guns blazing, really. Yeah, again, they've, they've, they, they look, they look organised and they've got players to add to that as well. But... Um, so do we, we've come back good, we've come back confident and um, it's a game we believe we can win, it's a game we're going to try and win, it won't be easy, a very good, a very good team, a, a great manager, so we just need to make sure that we, we, we concentrate on ourselves and do what we can do right and, um, and we, we'll see how that takes us. Three new strikers, uh, two of them available, so it gives you a few more options. Yeah, it gives us options. We, we, you know, it's been we've said it for a while. We've been lacking in that area through injuries and and whatever. So, um, Keir Murphy's been playing up there. He's doing. He's been. He's done really well. Works hard. Makes good runs. So, Ricardo came on 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 what day was it? Tuesday, and shows that that he can play up there as well. So it, that gives us an extra option as well. You think of it considering Ricardo tomorrow? He's definitely in consideration. He's put himself, like we always say to the players, the only way to, to cement your place in the team is to play well when you, when you get your chance, and he certainly did that. And in terms of injuries, I was chatting to Garrett Morrissey on Tuesday night. He was saying that, he, that he's on the way back. He was hoping that he might be all right for Friday. I saw him training there. How's he looking? Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, obviously he's been out for a while. I think it'd be a bit of a stretch to ask him to, to start the match, so hopefully he'll be, he'll be available for the bench. Obviously, Corey Galvin didn't make it. Um, and it's, it's, it's a little bit worse than what we thought it was, so he'll be missing, which is a, which is a loss to us after his performance against Waterford. So, but it's, it's that stage of the season; players are getting knocks and players are getting little little pulls and, and stuff like that. So, um, it's, every club's got the same the same problem. So we just have to roll with it. Because of Tuesday night, um, Neil, the 120 minutes plus, uh, can we expect uh, that there will be a few changes in the team on Friday? Um, I don't think that. We're, we've got a, a, the luxury to really rest too many people. It's a game, like I said, we wanted we wanted to win Tuesday, but we want to win Friday as well. So we'll be picking um, the strongest team possible. There will be players, there will be changes. We, we, you're right, people have put in a, a big shift. And even the game against Waterford on, on Saturday, it was it was a really hot day. So some lads have played that and 120 minutes or at least 90 minutes on on Tuesday so early on in the season. It, it's it's quite it's mad when you think about it, but they, they've had to do it. So um, no, there will there'll be a, there'll be a there'll be changes but, uh, yeah. I suppose a lot of focus is on your attack and the lack of goals near, but since you've come back in your key matches I think you've only conceded one so that's kind of a pleasing factor like, that you're keeping yeah. it the back yeah it's, I think if you look at our, our, um, our defensive record apart from the 6-0 at, at Rovers then it, it hasn't been too bad I think we've been beaten by the odd goal here and there So and, and the 3-0 at Dundalk but we've been beaten by the odd goal here and there so it's um, you know we know where our problem lies. We know we're we're, we're not we're not too bad at the back. We know our problem is is getting goals, and um, that's why we went out and, and yeah. signed uh, some strikers. You're certainly tight since you came back. Like just the one goal against, but obviously if if you can keep a clean sheet tomorrow night, getting it'd be a massive three points if you could start clicking and score a couple. Yeah, I mean we we we've, we've been saying it for a while now that the first goal in in, in matches is crucial and. Most teams will win the game if you if you concede a goal. Most teams will win one nil. It's this just the, it's the league. It is. It's a lot of games are very close. Like out of our games, nearly every game has been one nil either way. So um, a lot of the games in in the league are one nil or, or two nil. But you get the first goal. It's crucial. And unfortunately, in most of the games we play, we haven't been able to nick that first goal. So hopefully this weekend we can address that. We get the first goal and then and then we'll see what what happens then. Yeah, that's interesting. Like since she come back, knowing that there's only you know a lot less games to play. Is there a different approach to matches? Is there a different pressure on us? We must win this. Um, must not lose it. I think would be the more would be the biggest pressure on us. We, you know, we try and go out and, and win matches, but there's times when, you know, like I said before, if you if you don't concede, you've always got a chance. Against Bows, we conceded so early, and it, it almost kills the game. Then it's 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 very very tough. If you score first, then. Who knows? The opposition start getting more nervy. They start having to come out and attack here and leave spaces at the back. At the moment, we've we've either, it's either been nil nil or we've been down one nil. So teams are not inclined to come out and attack it. And if they're one nil up, so that's been that's been a challenge as well. So if we get the first goal um, and make the other team come out a little bit and make them attack us, then then we might see a different picture.
you know, this could be like a, a potential double whammy like on Friday night that if you win, they lose, big blow to them, a team down there with you, like in a massive boost of confidence. Yeah, so. definitely. I'm not sure that they're a team that, that not not shouldn't be there, but you know, that we, we are only, if this was a normal league table and it's seven games gone, it's hard to look too much into it early. Um, especially when they've made a lot of signings, so I certainly wouldn't wouldn't be thinking that, that Sligo are a bottom team, and and you know I, I think the last two wins have proven that that they're not. They're just they had a lot of injuries at the start of the season and, and players unavailable. So I certainly wouldn't be wouldn't be wouldn't be thinking that they're going to be down there. But listen, we, we need to we need to play against them on Friday. We need to try and beat them. Are you confident that the goals will come? Like looking at the games you've played so far in terms of chances created in matches. No, we, we haven't created enough chances, but like I say, it's, it's, there's, there's many factors to that. I think that you know, having having a presence up, up front, and a different type of striker up front will help us get up the pitch a little bit more. Um, and our attacking players then will have confidence that, that they can get in and around the striker and get forward a little bit more and, and, and beat the beat the full-back or the, the defender. So I think it's, more, it's, it's a lot of factors rather than we certainly don't go out to, to not concede and not try and go forward. I think there's... With a bit more presence up there, a bit more experience up up top, then maybe that we, we can get up the pitch a little bit a little bit quicker. Just on the cup, after all the hard work and choosy, we're looking for a handy draw, <laughs> an easy one away for us. Yeah, um, you know, not not the not an ideal game, but I think that a lot of the boys were were, were really hurt after the after the game against Rovers. I felt that you know it was so early on in the season to take such a beating. Um, a lot of them have got a lot to prove. A lot of them think that. It was probably a little bit harsh on us. The, probably the second half obviously wasn't, but the, the game itself uh, in the first half, I thought it was. It was. It was sound stupid saying it, but it was quite close. So I think that for a lot of players, it's it's a chance to get a little bit of revenge and to show that they we didn't deserve to lose that game six 0 and and it, and it keeps getting brought up and it's something we can't we can't shake off. It was so early on in the season, we were down to ten men for fifty odd minutes. Um, so we just you know as much as as much as it it's not an ideal draw. It's a tough place to go. I think that we'll be going there with a, with a point to prove, and the players will have a the bit between their teeth because, like I say, you know we don't want it, we don't want to repeat that again, and we want to go and show, go up there and show, give a true reflection of the team we are. And the cup is different, as you know, and, and Cork have that great cup tradition. Yeah. Yes, thanks, Trev. Yeah, the cup have got a great. <laughs> no yeah. pressure. No, <laughs> no pressure. No. <laughs> no the, the, yeah, I mean, even you know, I played in a cup final for Cork, and obviously. We didn't win it, and, and you know we still had a still had a great celebrations, and people really do, um, really do love the cup competitions, and obviously they've had great success in, in getting to finals and winning it. So, yeah, we're we're aware of that, and all the players are aware of it as well. And you know, everyone would love a day out at playing in the cup final at the Aviva. So we'll give everything we've got. We'll we we'll do our best. We'll put our strongest team out to go and try and get a result. And um, but like I say, we we could we could be we could be dreading it, or we could face up to it and say this is a, this is a chance that you've got a point to prove now. Go and show everybody, especially people in Dublin um, that the, the true the true the true team you are. The perfect time to play role versus to be thinking back to between the European games. Um, yeah, um depends on how they get on. If they if they get a really good result against um who play in Stockholm is it? So it's a finish team I Yeah a finish team yeah so if they get a good result against against them then um, who knows? I mean, they've got a big squad up there, so he'll, he'll be able to rotate the players around, and they'll all want to be involved in the European games, I'd imagine. So he's certainly they're not going to play a, a team that, that you know are not capable of beating us. So it'll be a strong game. So I wouldn't look too much into the fact it's, it's sandwiched between two European games. No.